a little word about uh, foot drives here. Um, I'm trying to get things done to get R2 on his feet, and when I say on his feet, I mean on his feet, so that um, everything has been painted and he doesn't need to come off his feet again unless something breaks and needs to be repaired. But I keep finding more and more bits that I need to paint. Um, prime example, uh, this foot motor is in a combination of gray and black PETG. This one's white. So you can kind of see here there's a, a piece that goes right here that isn't attached. It's in my other room. Um, but it means that from these foot drives you have to paint the top of this, the side, and then the top and side of the block that fits in here, and then the top of this, and the top of this. This is actually this gray is what I'm going to talk about. So that's one piece, two piece, this missing block, three piece, four pieces that need to be painted white. Five pieces, this piece as well, needs to be painted white to have everything on the foot drive painted before it can go in the foot shell and then the ankle attached. So uh, the thing I want to talk about is this huge gap. Um, I cannot print PETG on my Prusa Mark III for whatever reason. It's just... Well, I guess I can because these drives, foot drives, are printed out of it. Although it took me like two full spools, plus some, to get it with multiple restarts, and I still end up with this huge gap. And you might be able to see that it's a bit bowed, it's a bit warped. Um, lots of people, I've tried different settings and everything, and right now I can't even get the thing to do a uh, first layer. It's worse than it's ever been, but. I digress. What I'm talking about here is kind of how I fixed that. So it's going to be a little bit hard to see on white, maybe. No, no. You can see how awful this looks, this piece here. This piece is printed with this side on the bed and this angle. You either print with supports on the bed or no supports. I could not get the PETG to print with supports. The supports kept uh, like sticking, filament sticking to the nozzle and peeling itself off. And so I eventually managed to print them with no supports, but it made this part of the print just awful. You don't see it, but what you do see is the fact that it's awful and it kind of warped is it's nowhere near as thick as it should be to fill that foot shell. So you saw the big gap when I put it in the foot shell. So this one here, hey look, that's much better. So how I did that, and I don't know if this is an actual really good idea or not. This is not screwed together. This, this is taken apart so I can do the painting and also upgrade some parts in it. I used Bondo two-part body filler and I had a piece of cardboard that I taped here and with a bend and I then using more tape kind of hopefully this makes sense made the bend the approximate angle that I wanted this and then I mix up some two-part epoxy and squished it all down between the paper and the PETG. Now why I don't know if this is going to work is it, it seems like it's stuck really well but it might under stress it might crack and fall apart. And there's no way for me to know without driving the thing around once it's all painted. So basically you can see and this might be a little bit thicker than it needs to be it's this PETG part printed really off the dimensions it should be because I didn't use a support and I have a heck of a time printing PETG for whatever reason. So just thought I'd show that um, I, I need to clean up this hole right there's this hole where the nut goes that the 
um, axle bolt will go into so I just need to use an exacto knife and clean that up so I can get the bolt in there and hopefully it won't crack or fall apart but as you could see with that foot shell on it looked much better than it did this one did in there the way it is with this way too thin piece here because this didn't print well at all on my machine so that's about all I wanted to go through with that is a little little hack I'm doing that might or might not work it'll work I just don't know for how long if it's a like a permanent fix or if it'll fall apart what I meant to do was print um, put back in the orientation it goes this way on the foot shell I meant to print a piece of plastic that would go here that I could just glue in there next to this edge and then I could sand it smooth and paint it and it would be part of the foot shell and not part of the drive but I forgot to do that and I don't want to scrape the scrape the paint off here and glue that in and then mess with repainting this so this is this is the compromise that I came up with and then I put uh, the half moon on there just to see because it, it this is bowed a little bit outwards which I noticed it even is without this in so I think this is a bit thick but I think this is still just a bit bowed for whatever reason uh, might be my imagination it might be sliding this drive unit in because again whenever I print PETG it gets warped and this might be a little bit warped like this and is putting pressure against there I think that's what it probably is that makes this bow out a bit but it's not bowed enough to the point where the half moon doesn't stick or wobbles um, the magnets hold it firmly in place and it looks absolutely fine so unless you're right up on it you're not going to see that it's bowed at all so that's just kind of a little fix that I came up with I was thinking about it for a while and decided to try it last night so obviously I still have this one I'm gonna try and do the same thing too but I wanted to keep uh, one of these setups intact and then get this one torn apart and I'm kind of using it as a reference so I can see what parts of the assembled one show through the foot shell which is going to be a stinker and not go on right now but yeah, so I have an idea of what I need to paint. I mean, I already sanded the sides and primed the sides here. And then looking at this one, again, I realized you don't need to do that because those are completely covered. It's basically the inside and top of this block, this block, this panel, and then the middle, slightly off-center, actually, of the bottom panel there that has the um, tooth dovetails that slide into this side panel and uh, this side panel over here. So yeah, just a, just a way I'm gonna eliminate that large gap, which especially, you know, you got, you can have white, white parts and it's just gonna make that black gap just look huge because it's just so dark it draws your eyes to it. At least it's drawing my eyes to it when it's all assembled. You probably won't even notice it. But I'm being picky, so that's what I did.